Alright guys, so today Eric and I are at the auction. It More is folk art. 7.30 in the morning. We are here. We are not awake. I'm, I'm awake. <laughs> I'm not. It's too early for her. Yeah, I just want to be back in bed with Amelia. Uh, but yeah, there's another folk art auction. So another auction filled with lots of good stuff. So... We'll see if we can win any of it today. Yeah, I'm really, not feeling yeah. super confident. I never am when I go to these things. I've probably said that before, but people fight for this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to be crazy in here. You're going to like some of the stuff you see, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of nice stuff again. So Let's roll in. Yep, let's go check it out. Alright guys, so unfortunately I have to do a voiceover for this video because of the music situation. So today we're at another auction of mainly folk art pieces. This is about the third auction of one lady stuff um, that we have gone to and she has just had absolutely amazing, very expensive pieces. And this one was pretty much like the other ones that we have gone to where we have um, purchased stuff um, that belonged to her from this auction. So a lot of these pieces are like folk art type of pieces. Um, a lot of the items were, you know, signed by the artists that made them and just nice high quality pieces. Um, we did win a fair amount of stuff and you'll see that when I do my haul video. Um, but this one, I feel like this auction particularly, I feel like um, the prices were way more expensive than what they had been um, auctions prior. So, but as you can see, like while I'm going through here, there was just so much nice stuff. I would have loved to have won all of it, but obviously, auctions do not work that way um so you know sometimes i do come across pieces where i want to purchase for myself personally uh, but for the most part you know we are reselling these items so obviously you want to not overspend <clears throat> so there were um a couple of cloisonne vases in this auction you guys know i had won like a bunch of them in auctions prior i didn't get a chance to, to to win all of them by any means but um i did win a fair amount of stuff uh, we did pick up these um, obsidian stones they have like hearts and butterflies imprinted in them there's price tag stickers for like 24 dollars a piece on those so that was kind of crazy i don't really know much about um stones and crystals and things like that but we were drawn to those um let's see there were a lot of those uh pretty beaded pieces and you'll see them throughout uh, i'll wait until we we get to another one there was also a lot of artwork this time around and i do think we won a couple pieces of artwork artwork isn't something that we always necessarily pick up or anything but oh gosh i thought that was so incredibly beautiful i did not win that um but yeah there was a random frog in there some doggos and some really pretty baskets these were some Swarovski um just little figures a lot of those don't have like a ton of resale value I think it all depends on like the the subject matter and the size and those types of things so down here I do think I won this tray it was full of little cat figures and a couple pieces by a lady and I had sold a couple of her pieces um, already so I did bid on that tray and I won that um, there was also a lot of these wood carving pieces by Arthur Shoemaker and Eric had won a bunch of those at an auction prior um, and we did end up winning quite a few if not all of the shoemaker carvings this time around as well so there oh my gosh some of the vases are just absolutely stunning we had a lot of these um, glass fruit lamps i think i only won one of them this face here was just outstanding so incredibly unique and interesting just 
I don't know, just all inspiring type of stuff. Like, look at this frog bowl. Oh, I would have loved to have won that, but it just, it went way, way up there. You can kind of see a price tag on this one. She had originally paid $90 for just that one little horse. So, I mean, just very nice stuff. There was a lot more of these Alabrije um, Mexican painted pieces. Um, I do believe that means like spirit guides. Um, in, um, there was a lot of those because we had seen some in prior auctions and we won a few. So, and I really liked those picture frames, but I don't think I won those. And these were just little made in Peru stone birds. I feel like we did win a tray of those because they didn't really go for much money and we thought they were nice. There were some more of those Alabruje um, pieces in here. So I didn't win many of them. That's another thing with those. Um, again, subject matter, size, and a lot of people look for certain artists who painted the pieces uh, because they're all painted by different people so not all of them are worth as much as others just depends on the piece type of thing i liked the dinosaur one though just because he was cool um we've got some more really pretty vases more of these beaded these are also mexican those beaded pieces i think those are called hulchul um pieces absolutely beautiful i did win a couple of those there's not a ton of resale value in those as well uh, but they're gorgeous loved the frog with the book i thought that was so cute just a lot of really nice vases um i don't really know if i like we didn't list everything yet we're still going through our totes and i can't even remember everything that i won i know i won these birds up here these are by someone named i think it was called um his name was david Kloss. i could be wrong um but i did win those birds i loved the coloring of them just completely drawn to them <laughs> so i did win them there was a bunch of lowell davis stuff again um, his stuff can sell really well, but I just didn't really get too, too into it. Um, and then there was more of these vultures. Eric is obsessed with these. Um, so he won that big one. It is on top of our curio cabinet currently. Um, I would have loved to have won this tray, but it, oh my gosh, so, so expensive. It went for a lot of money. Um, but that's like an instant collection right there. These were stone um, dinosaurs. They also were made in Peru. Those were cute. Very, very heavy. Got a pig on a corner on a cob. We did win that pig. Uh, wish we had won that lamp. That was beautiful. And then we have just some boxes of crystals. There was also um, a lot of very expansive lamp shades there. I mean, oh my gosh, look at that. Ah! so so pretty i don't think that i won those unfortunately i don't even know though like i said we haven't listed everything and i don't even know what's in all of our totes um eric did win more of those vultures though i honestly liked these ones better though because these were like bats and they had a string on them so you could hang them and i wanted them for our halloween decorating <laughs> so i do think we won those and then we have just more pretty painted um, alabruje pieces and some vases. We got some mini cloisonne vases over here. I don't think that I won those this time around because, you know, a lot of the cloisonne was going super high this time around. It wasn't as lucky. Um, there was more shoemaker carved pieces in there. I did win this shade. I actually already sold it for $100. Um, it belongs to a fairy lamp. Um, it's Burmese glass. So that was a quick sell. Again, more lampshades. And you'll see, you know, everything I purchased and what stuff has already sold for uh, when I do my haul. And I'll have multiple hauls because <laughs> we won a pretty decent amount of stuff, guys. Very, very much so. Um... Would have liked to have one more, but <laughs> just not possible. I absolutely love this little frog on the mushroom. I did not win that tray, but there was a lot of cute pieces on there. 
um, and then down through this side, it was more or less more of like the Lowell Davis pieces, which I just, I wasn't too, too fond of. We did sell a pretty large piece of his at one point, but you know, sometimes you're just not, not feeling it. And I was feeling like other stuff more so this time around. So this is more of like the folk art pieces, um, and then just some baskets and stuff. These baskets that you see, they're really expensive too. They're by someone named Daryl Arwejo, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, very, very expensive baskets. I did end up winning, I think, just two of them. I loved these as well. Very well made. Um, I don't know if they call those pantry boxes. They kind of look like it. Um, and then there were two Disney Russian nesting dolls. I did win those um, for $10 a piece, which I thought was a very fair price. Um, I did win that lamp that you see there. Oh my goodness. I think I paid about 200 and some dollars for that, but it's absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, I couldn't touch the paperweights. The paperweights sold for a lot of money. There were some really good ones in there. Um, very, very good ones in there. Not necessarily the one I touched, but, um, there were some very expensive paperweights. I don't know a whole lot about paperweights, but I did learn some things about paperweights that day. Um, then let's see what else we have here. I'm trying to see if there was anything else that, um, I personally had won that I can remember that, um, I won. I was drawn to this little wooden rabbit here. Um, I think he was German made. I don't think he had a whole lot of resale value to him, but I just thought he was absolutely adorable, but I don't even think that I won him. I did win this glass fruit lamp. That's the only one I won, probably because it was the smallest, but it was still really cool, and I still think that it's going to do well when I get it listed. And then over here, we got a couple more shoemaker pieces. These mice are actually by someone named David Sabal. And again, his stuff, very, very, very expensive. Um, and then over here, we have a couple more Alabrije pieces. So there was just a ton of them. This lady had quite, quite the ex extensive collection of just beautiful things. Um, her and her husband owned a local trucking company and they were very, very, very rich. <laughs> so that's obvious with the, the stuff that you see these birds. Oh my gosh. Take a look at these birds. These are by the same person. Um, the other birds I showed earlier were made by, these ones are huge standing. I won them both. <laughs> the one I think I paid $10 for and the other one I had to pay $30 for. Sometimes I feel like people just bid on stuff because they know that you're bidding on stuff. So they just bid for the heck of it kind of thing. Cause like, it's funny how I got the first one for 10 cause no one bid on it. And then I could like, you know, I had to, I had to fight for the second one, but that's how it is at the auction. Um, there were some more Norman Brum copper birds, which Eric won quite a few more of those, these bug sculptures, which I absolutely loved, but couldn't win. Um, some Sato, uh, vases and more Brum birds and more like, oh my gosh, I would have loved to have won that, but I just, I couldn't. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the haul.